Do you want to learn how to trade stocks and cryptocurrency? Join our community of traders. Go to richpicksdaily.com and find the next 10 bagger. Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest, Jim Gilligan, the president and CSO of Trip Therapeutics. How are you doing today, Jim? Good yourself. I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for joining us on our show today. Yeah, I'm excited about the opportunity. Hey, my pleasure. Very excited to learn more about Trip Therapeutics. I know our community really likes Trip Therapeutics, and a lot of our members have already started taking positions in the company. Can you tell us a little bit about Trip Therapeutics and how it is a drug development company focused on developing compounds with established safety profiles and medical utilities for the treatment of rare diseases and other diseases with few or no treatment options? What else should investors know about your company? That's a great question. One of the things I think that distinguishes Trip from maybe some of the others in the sector is that we have what we might be considered pharmaceutical or biotech executives associated with the company. We've all been involved in the process of taking drugs from inception through to regulatory approval. And it's, it's not easy. It's, it's not an easy path in order to be successful. And what, what you're trying to do, right, is remove risk. And we'll, we'll come back to risk in a number of, your, of the questions and discussion. And by having a group with the requisite experience that we have, we remove the risk from the actual uh, uh, regulatory execution stage and give the molecule the best chance for success. Wow, that's fantastic. And why did Trip Therapeutics choose to get involved in the psychedelic therapy space? You know, I, I have a PhD in pharmacology. And what you realize when a number of disease entities and states is that when we develop drugs, many times it's for symptomatic relief. We address the symptoms and not necessarily the cause of the disease. And one of the advantages that's been seen in early research with psilocybin is the fact that uh, single intervention or maybe uh, dual intervention gives a profound effect with duration for months. And it, it seems to go a little bit further upstream and, and correct some of the, the problems that are the cause of the disease and not just the symptomatology. That's fantastic. Thank you for that. And can you please tell us a little bit about your progress Trip has made in using psilocybin to target treatment for eating disorders? So, yeah, so we're working with Dr. Jennifer Miller at University of Florida, who's a world-renowned expert in eating disorders. And part of the Trip strategy approach has been is we should go out and find the true experts in the field for an example, eating disorder, and they bring that expertise to the table where we bring the, the drug development and the psychedelic expertise to the table. And when you marry, coalesce those two or bring those two together, again, it gives us the best chance for success. And so that, hence, that's why we forged this relationship with Dr. Miller at University of Florida. Very good. So Jim, how is TRIP able to shorten development and approval times while reducing the cost of a development programs? That's a great question. Um, there's, there's an opportunity that's called the 505 B2 uh, with respect to the FDA. And FDA has, has set this out for drugs or molecules that have existing safety or efficacy data. And in the case with psilocybin, we have both of those. And so it allows a company to proceed immediately into your phase two studies and start treating with patients and not begin, start from the beginning. So that improves both time and cost in moving your program forward. What are the advantages and opportunities presented by targeting rare orphan diseases? So that's primarily a regulatory advantage. And what it allows you to do is to get an expedited review by the FDA. And it also will give you a, a longer period of exclusivity. And since a number of or several of the, the disease entities we are targeting would meet the drug uh, criteria. So it, it, it behooves us to take advantage of, of, of the ability to accelerate review, getting FDA's attention, and then having uh, potentially a longer period of exclusivity. 
What advantages might TRIP 1001 have for treating soft tissue sarcomas over existing treatments? So one of the things that unfortunately in the area of soft tissue sarcoma is there haven't been a number of advances for brand new monotherapies. The, the TRIP 1001, we've gone back and looked at its historical uh, performance. And again, here's another drug that has demonstrated safety and efficacy. So we can move forward, uh, as they say with alacrity, we can move forward quickly. Um, what's, what's happened here is uh, a perfect uh, coalescence of understanding now how this molecule works with new advances in understanding tumor biology. And what uh, some of the studies have shown is that if you combine our, our drug rosoxane with other chemotherapeutic agents or radiation, it greatly reduces the incidence of metastasis and improves the, the response to the current therapeutic drug. So we're not looking at it as a standalone monotherapy, but rather to add it to existing standard of care, which can improve outcomes. Very good, very good. Why does TRIP see potential in psilocybin for treating eating disorders? So just, just as we're looking at things in neuropathic pain, where we know that the pain emanates from the brain, we're selecting areas with eating disorders where, again, they think that there's a neurologic component, that the compulsion to eat comes from the brain, and that we think that uh, given the fact that psilocybin has had uh, success in other areas of quote, addiction, like alcohol addiction, even cigarette smoking, that this could be potentially another area where integrated into psychotherapy plus psilocybin could have a beneficial effect in eating disorders. And, and some of these uh, are, are really uh, terrible diseases. And these people have what's called hyperphagia, where even when they eat, they don't feel satisfied. They continue to eat. They continue to eat. And when you speak with Dr. Miller, she has patients who she said that, you know, the parents are trying to do the best thing and they'll leave the house and literally go in to restaurant dumpsters to find additional food. So it's a tragic disorder. And that's why we really feel and hope that psilocybin therapy will have a, a, a positive impact for these patients. So I know that you guys are listing on the OTCQB. What would that mean for the company? I think, you know, what we're trying to do is get a, a broader audience, a broader number of people facilitating their opportunity to get involved with TRIP. We think that we have an exciting future. And certainly, whatever you do to make it easier for people to, to make an investment, participate with TRIP at this stage, we think is an advantage. And again, remember, I'm just a science guy. So, you know, I'm just giving you from uh, uh, the science side. Now, we have investors that have taken interest in TRIP from all over the world that have already been messaging me saying that they're taking positions and they feel it's undervalued. How can an investor that's interested in learning more about the company get in contact with you? So I think, you know, from an investment perspective, you know, we have uh, Greg McKee, who is our CEO, which would be Greg at TripTherapeutics.com. We have our chief financial officer, Luke Hayes, who, again, it's pretty simple, Luke at triptherapeutics.com. And if you have a tough science question, you can always get me at, at Jay Gilligan at triptherapeutics.com. Fantastic. Well, you know what? We're really excited to see you guys grow and evolve. Thank you for joining us today, Jim. Oh, thank you. Appreciate you having me. My pleasure. Now, before we say goodbye, I want everyone to know that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here at Rich TV Live. I do believe that this is a company that is doing great work. I do think that it is undervalued, underappreciated, and underexposed. If you like the video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. Thank you for your time today, Jim. Thank you for watching, everybody, and have a nice day. Thank you.